12 minutes after the hour of 2 o'clock here inside the city block. You know we do right here. Follow King Ojo to the Mecca of Carnival. And you know the interviews are happening fast and furious, concert series, all the rest. And with us this afternoon in studio, writer, producer, and I know we have to say artist, artist, Kisha. <laughs> yo, 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 check, check. Check. 96.1 Ojo, thank you so much for having me. Hello, Trinidad and Tobago. Hello, Soka World. Kishav, part of the Just Now camp. Yeah, man. I know the last time uh, you were linking via, I think it was via uh, Zoom. Yeah. With S. Dot yeah. and Kofi. And, in the pandemic, yeah. Yeah, during the pandemic, you were in Miami, I believe. Yeah, yeah exactly. I was out there with my parents. Yeah, uh, since then, there's been a, 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 a hurricane of releases for me, both on the production side. But mostly on the vocal side. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. That's kind of why I'm here today. And if, and if when you hear us say "just now," I'm pretty sure you're going to be like, "Oh, just now." Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I had to hear that before. And so many tracks yeah, from man. Double M to Gallin mm -hmm. to Kess. Of course, you know a big part of the Tree Canal family as well. We're blessed, man. We're blessed. You know, these are all my 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 brothers and sisters in music. And you know, at the end of the day, the the, the more and more I learn about being in music, mm -hmm. it's it's more than just the music itself. You know what I mean? We are we are a tight knit family. This this country, this community, this community of Soka. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm just happy to be able to make music with my fam in music. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And man. with that being said, I mean already for the year as far as from the production and writing side of things mm -hmm. you know the, the release with Gallen with the, the position yeah position and mud they have yeah. mud mm -hmm. uh, let me tell I know there's some more yeah there's a few more there's um, Pump Like Blood with Destra and right. d my brethren right yeah there's a, there's a few more there's one that dropped today in fact called The Lime Rhythm which you guys will get shortly okay um, uh, which is with DLL who is a hip hop producer does a lot of stuff with Matics which features that rhythm features Young Brother um, uh, Chromatics College Boy Jesse Lil Saint, um, there's some more stuff coming with Raka. I have one I'll call You, yeah, um, which is which is like a follow-up to, to Warm Sun. Um, some other rhythm stuff that's work, being worked on, and some other stuff I have to keep quite quiet until it's the right time. <laughs> <laughs> is, it later, is it late after? I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Kisha, tell us, I mean, for all the years that you spent, you know, beating the drums, being part of the production side of things you're writing, was there always in the back of your mind or oh, that desire to want to be stage front yeah you know it's a long time coming for me um and i nearly pressed the trigger on that a few times uh, uh -huh. in my life uh but you know what i think i had to be focused and, and focus is the key when it comes to, to anything in music you know what i mean at the end of the day we all have our different lanes and i have a lane and at the end of the day production you know um was was the job for me uh I kind of fell, I fell into that career. It was like a, a blessing in disguise for me. Uh, Tree Canal has a lot to do with it. Uh, you know, big up to Tree Canal every time. time. Um, you know, when I was when I was a kid, I used to send Tree Canal music on cassette tapes. And I, Wendell still has the cassettes right there in the little house. And um, yeah, man. So they, they they brought me on board when I came back to Trinidad in 2005 to try and make the national senior football team. And I was playing a youth national football for Trinidad when I was living in Miami. Yeah. I grew up all over the place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, always like, you know, Trinidad is in my heart. My dad was a Trini ambassador. You know what I mean? Uh, we traveled around the world. That's why I have this strange accent representing the country. Mm -hmm. So when I came home, badang. Yeah, the football thing didn't work out uh, to the level I wanted to. Great lessons learned there. But <laughs> before I knew it, I started to hear Tree Canal music that I was producing on the radio. I Love It was the first one. And um, yeah, big, big up to them because I started touring with them. And that's the time when they were touring Europe and the rest of the world and thing. Yeah. And that sent me on the next thing. It gave me the, the fuel I needed and the situation to be able to start really getting professional with it. So since about 2006, 2007, I've been pro producing and I wanted to sing the whole time. I've, I've always been a singer. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I sing even on a lot of the records that I release. Um, even like in Big Bad Soka, I'm singing the hey, 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 with Bungie in the back. That's you! Yeah, with, with B, of course. But you know, like a lot of that, a lot of the, the records that we work on, I, I, I often have vocal input in it. That's part of my production style. Ah, if you'll okay, ask any okay. of the, the guys I work with. I, I know Badang, that's yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the Badang <laughs> rhythm. Badang, Badang. That's you saying the yeah, Badang. Man, big up to Raka, we actually have something <laughs> dropping very, very soon. To follow that up, pick up my, my boy Raka in Belgium. I actually got to, funny you say that, I got a chance to, my first ever international festival performance was at Tomorrowland with Raka You're and alive. with me as a vocalist this wow. past year at Tomorrowland. Congratulations, um, the official, bro. The, thank you very much. You know, that's that's not just for me, that's for the whole country. Yeah, that's and, big, um, that's, that's massive. And to be able to do that as a singer was a real blessing and the official footage hasn't come out. I put stuff out on my Instagram for people who know, who, if you know, you know, you're following me, you see what's going on. Right. But there's going to be at, 
a slew of different content about me uh, being in the front of the stage now. So that is one that actual official official footage is about to drop. Um, but plenty, yeah, plenty, plenty singing behind the mic. Nice. And uh, with, with that being said, I know is, is it is it an album was released between yeah, yeah. the last interview you did with us yeah, and man. you dropped that film. Was it was it warm? Well, Warm Sun... Warm Sun, that track. From since that track to now, a whole album has come out, right? Absolutely, yeah, exactly. So Warm Sun came out, you know, big up Ryan for taking a chance and putting a new artist, Ryan is my brethren, <laughs> on, on, um, on, on that, that's, that uh, Soka starter that came out. And that was the first sort of inclusion of me, of me as a, a vocalist in the carnival right. um, industry, Soka industry, right? Uh, but since then, yes, I have had been working on an album before that, a uh, vocal album. I wrote like 40-something songs, recorded about 40-something, 45, 47 songs. Um, and as I would produce anybody, I've, I've been fortunate enough to produce a few albums. I whittled it down mm -hmm. over a long process. D the pandemic, of course, afforded the... Yeah, you had the, the time to really time. zone in right? and focus on it. Right, yeah, the time yeah. and the space. And, you know, I, I said, wait, this is a blessing in disguise. I, I have the chance now to really dig my feet in and my... my um, my, my fingers into my 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 singing exploits mm -hmm. so I, I did all these songs then I whittled it down to 12 songs and it came out recently it's a pop album interestingly it's a pop album and um, that's out everywhere it's called Remains I put that out shortly before the carnival season and it's been doing some really interesting things I've been getting messages from all over the world big up Dana and you know Shagan Media Limited right. who, who is like the world's leading soca distributor uh, just now myself Masha Montano doing all kind of mad things with Russian and uh, all these other great artists and it's out everywhere but I will focus on that as soon as the carnival is done right nice. now we have carnival things to deal with we're dealing with the red, white and black thing yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. so tell us about the track we're going to do deal with today yeah man you yeah you you it's a simple name it's called you uh, for a particular reason you know what I mean when I when I love I put my all of my love into what I love right yeah um it's something a lot of people can relate to. And I love real intensely. And it's just written all over the track. I mean, I wear my heart on my sleeve. You could feel it, man. You know what I mean? You I wear my heart energy. on my sleeve. And yeah. it, it, that, that's what I, what I poured into that. And uh, this song uh, is an interesting middle ground between me as a pop artist, which is starting to happen more and more, uh, and uh, my identity as a Trinbagonian and a West Indian man. You know what I mean? It, goes, it comes together. It's pop. It's produced by Just Now. So that's me and Sam, right? Right. Just right. Now. The team. Yeah, Big Bad Soka, Truck and Road, all these different things. And DJ Fresh, who's a legendary UK producer who also co-produced Big Bad Soka. And it was, the beat was actually made on the same day. <laughs> as well as the beat for a brand new song that came out by a young 12-year-old girl named Wizabella that you guys have been playing on the station as well. And those three beats were made on the same day. You could feel the energy in it, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's get to it, Gio. <laughs> yeah, man. Kishav is here. Ready. We're live. Yeah, man. It's called you. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Just now. You fell in love with my soul. Now I already know that you are taking hold of me. You know how the story goes How was I supposed to know You were the only one for me Yeah Listen to me Though I love you differently In different ways You capture my energy Physically, mentally, spiritually It's 360 what you do to me I know, I know, I know, I know I know that beauty can be blind And I know, I know, I know, I know We're playing with each other's minds But I know, I know, I know, I know Right now it's time to cross the line but You give me the thing right now I'm telling you that You fell in love with my soul Yeah, then why you already know That you are taking hold of me you know how the story goes How was I supposed to know You were the only one for me Like a love so true I can never refuse it Like a love so true Like a love so true Hey, hey, hey <laughs> My boy Gio, happy birthday, my brother You don't know, bada, bada. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Just now Just now Check it out you fell in love with my soul Now I already know That you are taking hold of me You know how the story goes How was I supposed to know You were the only one for me Yeah Listen to me Know I love you differently In different ways You capture my energy Physically Mentally Spiritually 
is 360. What you do to me? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that beauty can be blind. And I know, I know, I know, I know we're playing with each other's mind. I know, I know, I know, I know right now it's time to cross the line. But so give me the thing right now. I'm telling you that you fell in love with my soul. Now I already know that you are taking hold on me. You know how the story goes. How was I supposed to know? You were the only one for me. Like a love so true. I could never refuse it. Like my love for this music. Yeah. Like a love so true. Yeah. I could never refuse it. Like my love for this music. Yeah. 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 No more waiting. Time to let it go. Wanna love up your body. Lose all control. Say my love not lazy, and I need some more, more. I need it, yeah. You know that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that beauty can be blind. But I know, I know, I know, I know we playing with each other's mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Right now it's time to cross the line, but so give me the thing right now. I'm telling you that you fell in love with my soul. Now I already know. Was I supposed to know the one for me? Like a love so true, yeah, yeah. I could never refuse it. Like my love for this music, yeah. Like a love so true. I could never refuse it. Like my love for this music, yeah. Check it out. Long tears I cry over the beauty of our love. Long tears I cry over the beauty of our love. Long tears I cry over the beauty of our love. Long tears I cry over the beauty. <laughs> yeah, man. Tisha with you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, song, thank man. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear that that fusion, that that Trini vibe, that soca energy fused with the pop and everything else. So I know that that's a huge part of what you do. That's just your style. Yeah, man. Yeah. I think I, some years ago. I realized that one of my jobs is to take soca music to places it hasn't been before. Right. And you know, that's kind of what we've been doing with Just Now. That's kind of our mission statement. Yes. And big up to the uh, powerhouses of soca music and dancehall and beyond that have seen that vision with us and the way that we do it. Right, and, right. And uh, this is part of it. It's also dope and I'm really happy to be able to start singing on Just Now beats now. We've, <laughs> we've, we've been reserving them for other artists. Correct. But it, at the end of the day, I'm at I'm the front of the stage now as well sometimes. So why not jump on some of them I mean, bad beats? There's, there's some stink ones lying down there some really nice happy ones dread ones all kind of different ones to interpret you know what I mean yeah, different yeah, different man. vibes and different flow yeah, yeah. yes man as we're talking about yes sir and I know there's a lot more coming yeah yeah lots yeah <laughs> yeah but hey it's, it's late half of the season but things still brewing and you know it's a restart yeah as we were talking about before we, mm-hmm. uh, we went on air and um, of course a lot of things may have gotten shelved before the pandemic. So a lot of people have been hearing this conversation about, you know, why so much bottlenecking and coming out towards the end of the season. That has happened at the best of times because people have their own strategies. But a lot of things got shelved and good music can ways, right? True. And plus we have new things to make. So there's a lot of things coming out uh, once, you know, once you're strategic about it. So that's what we're trying to be just now, both just now myself and the other stuff that I'm bringing out. So I have real things to bring out still. And, and I'm, I'm sure, <laughs> of course, it's going to continue way after Carnival and a lot yeah, more music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we want to yeah. make, this thing had to be yeah. 24 hours a day, 365. Yeah. Is just got to keep it going. It can't, yeah. it can't afford to stop. Absolutely, man. You know, we are, we're worldwide, so because a worldwide thing. And before yeah. I used to kind of be quite critical when I first entered the, the Soka scene, I was like, well, why are we, we not, you know, together as an industry and as a movement, as other things are, uh, have been like punching above its weight. Soka's been doing it for such a long time. But I really feel as though there's a, there's an industry mentality that's starting to develop within soca music. The producers were all in kind of contact. The, the, the writers, uh, you know, there is a there's a movement happening. I really believe it. You know, I'm, I'm one of the uh, members of the Recording Academy, right? The Grammys, a voting okay. member, along with a few other select producers in soca music. And these are steps that we are taking. There's a certain kind of conversation about what, why is there this kind of music we're putting out certain types at certain times of year. But I think there's going to be a time where soca music is really going to become non-seasonal and still obviously Trin and Tobago is the Mecca of Carnival we, you don't know like we have to focus on the Carnival season but 
besides that, I think soca music is really starting to just push outside and outside and outside. We're in a good place. I think we just need to keep on going and contextually write records and make records that are not just specifically Monday and Tuesday. I think a lot of those are starting to happen now. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You hear it? You hear it? Yeah, man. We just have to keep that focus and keep, yeah. keep, keep pushing forward. But right now it's time to have fun, you know. Like, we're we, we outside, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're outside. Big up the dingers. Big up the ding dong doing really amazingly in the yeah, season. For real, for of real. Of course, our boy Bungie, like, Bungie's absolutely smashing it. So many other friends doing so well, man. Kess, uh, Marshall Montano, the big brother, you know what I mean? I did something with him the other day, added a little bit of flavor to the Hima Sekela record. Um, big up to everybody who's doing it. All, all the artists doing their own shows, Nesta, Nyla, everybody. I miss Nesta today. Where are Nesta? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Nesta, where are you, boy? Nah, he said right. he had some things to add. Of course, he's busy. Yeah, he's busy. Busy guy. He's busy. He already so said he couldn't be here today. Big up to everybody, man. Yeah. Keisha, thank you so much for being here. Give them the handles. Yes, let them know where they can follow you. You know, and, and take a look at all what's happening. You know yeah. what I mean? Because as you said, yeah. much more to come. There's a lot going on, not just for me, but for everybody. But for me in particular, if you want to check me out and see what Guan was going on, just check me out at Keshav Trinidad at Gmail. Oh no, Keshav Trinidad on all platforms. A little tired. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of music been going on. Yeah, Keshav Trinidad on all platforms to keep posted for all of my gigs. I'm playing at Dalai Lama tomorrow, a wonderful, charming venue in Wonder Brook. I'm playing at the Big Black Box on Friday. I'm doing a few Mad. fets, a few of my big brothers' right. fets this year um, as a new artist, you know, so I out here. Check me out on social media. Look out for Kishav right coming to a stage near you. Yes, sir. Blessings, bro. Respect, brothers. Happy birthday, man. Thank Again, we're going to celebrate. Happy, happy yeah, I appreciate it, man. The new track, it's called You, available on all streaming platforms. Bada. Video outfit yet? No, video's not out yet. It's available everywhere. And stay tuned to my social media for all the stuff that's about to drop, right? Respect. Bye, Doc.